CPU cooler upgrade. All right, so we got this. We got this. All of this is going to be going into an MSI pre-built. Let's grab the computer, get it over here, and look at what we got. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. So let's pull this out of the box and see what we got in here. I know it is a just like a very, it's an i7. I believe it's a 13900. Let's see if it says here on the box. 13700, I don't know why I said 900. 13700K. And uh, yeah, the guy says while he's using it, he's seeing 90 degrees plus on the cooler. Uh, let's get this off of here. You can see just by looking at it, this cooler, not, not a very powerful cooler. So this is the cooler that we that this guy's been using. It's what came pre-installed on it. I'm not even sure what brand this cooler is because it doesn't say anything. I would say it's an MSI cooler, but I really don't think it is. This is an MSI motherboard, MSI hard drive, MSI video card, MSI fans, MSI power supply. So this might be an MSI integrated cooler. Yeah, so it's, it's an MSI case. So basically everything on this is MSI, except for the memory that I can see, which is Kingston Fury. They have their place, Emily. Oh. So, I just pulled this off of here. We're gonna zoom in. This is a pre-built. This guy has never taken this apart, according to him. And look, MSI shipped him a cooler with literally no thermal paste. Like, this is an MSI pre-built. Out of the box, swapping the cooler, not an ounce of thermal paste on this or on this. Well now, here's your problem. Like I get the need for pre-builds that people can't necessarily afford to build themselves or if they don't have the time to build themselves or they don't have the knowledge to build themselves, but this is wrong. MSI, you need to do better. Like you guys are now one of the largest system integrators that are out there. You can't allow things like this to happen. This is absolutely insane. This is a this is a 13700. Like this isn't a this isn't a cool processor. This kid is lucky that this is not dead. That's insane. And you can tell by looking at this there has never been thermal paste on this whatsoever. So, this is this is absolutely insane. So, we'll have to well, like we're just going to I don't know. I, I'm almost. I almost want to tell this kid to take this back, and have them have them refund this and get another one, and then we'll check it at that point. Because this is this can kill. This can kill a CPU. This is this is crazy. So according to MSI Computers and PCs, this is a thirteen hundred dollar computer. It's a 4060 Ti. So it depends, actually. It depends on which video card this is. If it's a 30, if it's a 4060, this is 1200. If it's a 4080 or 4070, it's 1900. Yeah. So this is. I, I just. This is what's going to determine how much this was. So all right, let's keep going here. So that's, that is ridiculous. So the Corsair we're putting, the Corsair cooler we're putting in here is one of the ones I normally use. This is an H150i. All right, it's actually, this is, yeah, it's the H100i. I forgot he only got the 
240 millimeter, not the 360. No, I, I like whenever something like that happens, I love it when people clip. It just, it makes it much easier for me to find stuff as well. So will this actually fit up here? No. Maybe, maybe I can get this up here. And then with the fans. Yeah, that should still work. Hopefully here. Let's verify real quick. All we're verifying is that these holes that are up top for this are gonna line up and we're still gonna have plenty of clearance. And we do. Beautiful. So we're gonna do what we normally do. We're gonna build this cooler on the desk before we install it just to make life much, much easier. I can actually look at what this, this actually costs. It's the 13NU461US. All right, yeah, so it's gotta be the, it's the $1,300 one. So this is a $1,300. For $1,300, I would 100% expect this to have thermal paste on it. Because, I mean, I don't think that's too much to ask. Um, so we'll get these tightened down. You don't want to over tighten them with this. You'll be able to very quickly tell if you over tightened it because what'll end up happening. So if this is over tightening. You can see what that looks like. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can 100% see what over tightening looks like on this. See how this looks like it's ready to pull out, whereas this one does not. When it when when it looks like that, and it's snug, nice and good. You don't have to worry about it. That's that's where it should be. All right, so let's finish tightening these down. You are 100% correct. The fact that it didn't come with thermal paste means all it needed to do was take it off, put thermal paste on it, and that, that was it. But I am so glad I got that on camera. So glad. Which, means, which makes you want to check other stuff on this build now, just to verify everything was done correctly. It looks like all of the steps for this build were done like correct by MSI's integrator, whoever they're actually paying to do this. But then when the time came for that, they're just like, yep, just slap it on there. So it makes you wonder how many of these are out there in the world without thermal paste on them. All right, so after we have that all installed, let's flip this over. Now we're going to take this cable, which has this cute little rubber band on it, and get all of these cables connected. And let's go ahead and get it turned on. Power. All right, let's hit all the cores. CPU multi-core. See what our temperatures get up to. So uh, this got a score of 1271 in the new Cinebench. We never saw temperatures higher than 66. Homeboy is good to go. Let's get this thing paneled up and get it out of here. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you wanna learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.